Ooh, that looks good. Can I have some? You guys should rock, paper, scissors for it. Subway restaurants were founded in Bridgeport, Connecticut in 1965. Back then, the restaurant was known as Pete's Super Submarines, but they dropped that name in 1968. Since its inception, they've been offering fresh sandwiches to the public. But not all sandwich creations are available in America. So let's check out 10 Subway items you can't get in America, part one. You guys want to get Subway? Oh, man. Beef hot dog, Lebanon. Whoa. That's a lot of hot dogs. Who doesn't like hot dogs? They're pretty popular among children, and grown-ups, too, enjoy a good wiener on a fresh bun every now and again, especially at a ball game or perhaps just walking down the streets of New York, chomping down on a dog prepared by the expert hands of the many vendors that flood the street. And beef hot dogs sure have become popular as well. With so many people not wanting to eat pork, these have provided the possibility for many more cultures to enjoy a good old hot dog every now and again. Chicken, turkey, and tofu varieties are now available as well. And yes, there are many that have health concerns about hot dogs, but one every now and then won't hurt you, and it'll end up putting a smile on your face as well. So go ahead. Hot dog's right here. I didn't grill them, just like you said. But for Americans, there's one place you cannot find hot dogs, and that's at Subway restaurants. With their credo of healthy eating being promoted over and over again, a hot dog is the last thing you'd expect to see offered on their menu. But as it turns out, in Lebanon, you can find just that. The hot dog is served on a bed of crumbled potato chips and garnished with cheese and onions. Anyone up for a trip? Hot dog. This was a dog? That, no. Crumbled chicken, South Africa. Chicken. Must eat. This one here sounds a tad more complicated than it actually is. There is no crumbled chicken on the sandwich per se. In fact, the chicken here is in the form of chicken tenders. And really, there's nothing all that special about that, is there? After all, chicken tender sandwiches are pretty much offered at many restaurants in North America, but they sure aren't offered at Subway. And perhaps the combination of breads offered there and the fresh veggies would turn an otherwise boring sandwich sandwich into something rather delightful in the end. The sandwich in this form is available in South Africa, and this menu item does pretty well in that part of the world. That's a good-looking sandwich. It seems like it would do well in the States and Canada as well, yet it hasn't appeared at any of the restaurants in North America as of yet. But maybe if we collectively cross our fingers, the powers that be will add it in the months and years to come. We can only hope. You want me to eat them for you? Give me no sign. That will be done. Halloumi Saab, Saudi Arabia. Halloumi is a semi-hard cheese found primarily in Cyprus, where it originated. Its recipe and mode of creation is centuries old and has been practiced by many cultures, but was perfected by the people of Cyprus many years ago. It's made from sheep or goat milk and is brined and unripened. Sometimes cow's milk is also used. Its melting point is quite high, so it is favorable when used in frying and grilling, which makes it the perfect ingredient for... I don't know, maybe a sandwich? Indeed. That's stuff! <laughs> That's stuff? And the people at Subway Saudi Arabia seem to have figured out just that. Halloumi only spread forth into the world pretty late, in the year 2000 to be exact, when it appeared in Turkey, Europe, and now the rest of the Middle East as well. Interestingly enough, it goes quite well with fruit too. As for the Subway sandwich offered in Saudi Arabia, it's paired with the fresh veggies of your choice, and the taste of this fried cheese is enough to have you forgetting all about meat with every tasty and succulent bite. The practice is quite common in Italy and Italian cuisine, and sandwiches like this are often found around the country. The only difference, of course, is the cheese. As in Italy, bocconcino cheese, mozzarella, and especially buffalo mozzarella are often grilled and paired with fresh tomato and basil to make a sandwich worth writing home about. Add a little sprinkling of olive oil and you're there. Now there's another cheesy item that should also make the subway menu sometime soon, or at least we hope. This is a three cheese blend plus nacho cheese sauce. Chicken curry, Spain. Special chicken curry. 
The chicken curry dish that we're used to hearing about originated in the Indian subcontinent and has gained widespread admiration, being welcomed in many cuisines around the world. It's extremely popular in the UK and has dominated in North America as well, and for quite a number of decades now. This dish is available in many restaurants, but in the Americas, this form of spicy chicken can't be found at Subway restaurants. The same, however, can't be said about the beautiful country of Spain. Now, now, Spain has its own traditional cuisine in which tapas reigns supreme. But seeing that curry in all its forms spread as far as Europe before it was available in the States and Canada, and regions in Central and South America too, Spain has been using it in their cuisine for quite some time. This is probably why this particular sandwich made an appearance on the Spanish Subway restaurant menus, and seems to be doing quite well in that region. I'm interested. <laughs> curry dishes are of course still considered an acquired taste in North America, and perhaps this is why the restaurant executives are reluctant to put it on the menu. Anyone remember the Lay's potato chip curry flavor? Didn't do quite well, so maybe at the end of the day, they've got a point. But still, there are many adventurous foodies in the States and Canada, so if it were up to us, we'd give it a try. <laughs> Steak and Chorizo Melt, United Kingdom now, a steak sub is nothing really to write home about. After all, they are one of the oldest recipes for subs and hoagies in the book. Anyone who's been to the beautiful city of Philadelphia knows that. And what's not to love? The griddled beef strips, onions, peppers, and who can forget the cheese? It's all good, and it's why it's still one of Subway's strongest sandwiches to date. It does extremely well and seems like it will be a staple on the menu for years to come. But the epic gastronomic economical geniuses over at Subway UK only added to this epic sandwich. Now what's better, if not equal, to succulent strips of beef? If you guessed sausage, you'd be radio, dear friends. But they didn't just add any old sausage that you can get at the grocery store for a cheap price. No way! They added one of the most savory sausages, and probably the greatest tasting sausage known to man, right up there with Andouille sausage. Yeah! <laughs> Of course, we're talking about none other than chorizo. Now those two tastes combined will have you jumping up and biking, walking, driving, swimming, heck, even crawling to the UK for a taste of this mighty sandwich combination. Chorizo sausage helms from Europe, specifically Spain and Portugal, but is now featured in many European cuisines. The fermentation, drying, and curing process has remained unchanged over the long years, and it is perhaps this that gives it its unforgettable taste, appreciated by many the world over. Adding this to recipes is definitely the perfect way to take a sandwich or dish from one level to the extraordinary next one. Of course, the addition of paprika doesn't hurt one little bit. Uh. <laughs> Cold smoked raw ham and mascarpone, Japan. It is that which you have been seeking, gentlemen. Now, one would think that this particular sandwich would be available in Italy of all places, as the ingredients sure do lean in that direction, as far as the leaning tower of Pisa, you might say. But as it turns out, it's the remarkable Subway team in Japan that decided to add this one to the menu first. And the public there are eternally grateful, it seems. This one definitely gives new meaning and breathes new life into the old standard sandwich sandwich known as ham and cheese, doesn't it? The smoked raw ham is an interesting addition, and ham can be found in many varieties, specifically the cured sorts we find here in North America. But the smoked flavor definitely adds to this sandwich in a big way, complementing the classic rich taste of the mascarpone cheese. Oh, how did you manage this? I bought it with money. Nice. The cheese is something you'd see in Italy, but the ham there would probably be prosciutto. Now there you'd have a winner to take the number one spot on any list, we're sure. But the executives in Japan sure hit a home run for its clientele with this one here. Again, the ham is a bit puzzling, as ham really isn't a staple of Japanese cuisine, but perhaps the executives at Subway Japan figured that it would attract lots and lots of American tourists. Perhaps they weren't all wrong on that one.
Once more done my people a great service. Shrimp Melt, Japan. Please, don't take the steam tray, sir. Now here's a sandwich that seems to be a little more in the neighborhood of Japanese cuisine, as seafood in all its glory is vastly found in many traditional Japanese dishes. After all, what should we expect from the nation that perfected sushi? The terminology used here is quite interesting, though, as it borrows from traditional American diner cuisine, as what is one of the most potent and readily available dishes in diners across North America. If you guessed the tuna melt, we'd have to congratulate you. The tuna melt screams Americana like no other menu item, as it sends that breaking of the rules mentality American cuisine was based on, as fish classically isn't usually paired with cheese. Well, the success of this menu item in the States proved that theory wrong, and it's quite remarkable to see other world cuisines jumping on the old fish and cheese bandwagon. Now, we'd also like to mention that not all fish goes well with cheese, for some pretty obvious reasons, as both items have a tendency to release certain odors that don't always please the senses when heated. Oh god, what is that smell? So tread carefully when pairing these two ingredients, please. But the sautéed shrimp in this Subway sandwich offered in Japan certainly looks quite scrumptious. <laughs> Shrimp and Avocado, Japan. It is the greatest day of my life! Staying with the whole shrimp thing for just a few seconds longer, Japan also offers this little tasty sandwich. And while the shrimp melt definitely lends to a warmer and cheesier experience, this one here is actually quite healthy, as it pairs the omega-3 fatty acids found in fish and in avocados, and it's the perfect warm weather meal. Excellent for picnics and a simple walk down the beautifully crowded streets of Tokyo, Japan. Imagine chomping down on some fresh shrimp and avocado on a fresh roll as you walk past the people and the bright city lights of that beautiful city. If we've enticed you, contact your local travel agent today and just tell them we sent you. The area is rich in fresh veggies, and they only add to the crisp texture of the grilled shrimp and creamy avocado. This is eating fresh at its best and is totally healthy to boot. Hungry. Hungry. Peri Peri Chicken, South Africa. Peri Peri has a few variants, as it is also widely known as Piri Piri, perhaps the most popular form in America, and in other parts of the world it's known as Pili Pili. Of course, depending on cultural connotations and spelling, we're all pretty much talking about the same thing. And just what is Piri Piri? Glad you asked. It's actually a chili pepper that grows in the wild and is cultivated. Mm, not bad. This pepper spread to parts of Portugal and its many territories. It was the Portuguese that put the pepper and subsequent spice formed to epic good use in their world-famous Piri Piri chicken, which garners quite a bit of attention for their national cuisine. One would think that it is interesting, however, that it would be Portugal to feature this sandwich on their menu, but it turns out not really, seeing that the pepper originated on South African fields in the first place, before spreading to Portugal. The sandwich promises loads and loads of spice, and for those that love a little kick with their chicken, we'd say it's the perfect menu option. The smoky flavor of the peri-peri will take you to levels of enjoyment not found with recipes containing the standard chili peppers and cayenne peppers found in the States. Trust us on that one. <laughs> That's why our peri-peri chicken is so hot. Get it? Hot, not frozen. Fiesta Mexicana. Poland. Seeking out the tastiest and most delicious treat in the entire cosmos. Now, the last place you'd expect to find a Tex-Mex meal would be in the land of polka music and beef goulash. But lo and behold, the people at the Poland subway have actually introduced a Fiesta Mexicana sandwich on their menu. And what's more, it's actually a hit in the area. For North Americans, we've got Taco Bell when we're in the mood for some good old Mexican cuisine served up in three minutes or less, if the service is good, and are pretty much content with that. But to have a second family fast food option would be pretty awesome. Oh yeah! Of course, many North American fast food chains had Tex-Mex on the menu, and these menu items all went the way of the rotary telephone, and with much less fanfare at that. So we more than understand the fear for American execs to go ahead and serve this one to the masses, but still, Tex-Mex at Subway? A Fiesta Mexicana sub at 
subway. Kind of has a nice ring to it, huh? We sure think so. And if enough buzz is generated, maybe we too can enjoy one of these bad boys. Of course, we're being optimistic, as we're pretty well known to see the glass as being half full most of the time, but we do realize it isn't all that likely that we'll be seeing this delicious option on the menu anytime soon. Too bad. Hey, this unfair! Now send us home! Stick around, we've got more great videos on our menu. Just tap that screen, it's that easy. And if you're new to our channel, show us some love, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.